Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use your phone as a remote control. That's right, I'm going to use my phone to turn my TV on and off, change the channels on my cable box, and even turn my soundbar on and off. And then there's a few other applications I can use, such as a Roku, to turn use my phone to turn that on and off. So come into your app drawer. We're going to come into the Samsung app folder right up here. And we have Peel Smart Remote. Tap on this. You see this is the remote that's going to change everything and we're going to swipe over to learn more. So we can set up a visual TV program guide as long as we have a cable subscription we can check this out and then swipe over one more time and then we can set our TV remote you see for a TV we have a Roku, Apple TV, a DVD player we can have a bunch of different uses for this remote because our device has an infrared blaster built into it. So tap start and we're going to enter in our zip code. Tap next, and now you're going to choose your cable TV provider. So I have Comcast. I'm going to go ahead and choose on that. We'll tap next, and I'm going to choose my age. So choose my age range, and then we'll tap next. And now I'm going to set up my Xfinity or Comcast standard. So yes, my TV is off. I'm going to tap on that, and now we're going to try and select my brand of television. So I currently have a Samsung television. I'll tap on that. Let's tap next. And then I'm going to point my phone at my TV and press button one. When I would tap on that, it's going to light up the little LED notification on my phone. And if my TV turns on, I'm going to tap yes. If it does not, I'm going to tap no, and it's going to try a different button preset. But my TV, in fact, did turn on. So I'll tap yes. And my TV setup is done. So now I'm going to tap proceed to set up my cable satellite box. If I do not have one, I'll just go ahead and tap I do not have one. So I'll tap proceed because I do have Comcast. So I'll tap on the Comcast. I'll tap next and make sure the box is off and that my TV is on. So I'll tap done and now I'm going to tap on the button channel up. Did the channel change? Yes. So now my remote control is configured. And now if I do have some additional features such as HBO, I do have HBO with Comcast and you see I can set these up and tap done. Now this is really cool. This is a nice visualizer for the TV shows. So if I tap on a show here, I can actually remind myself to watch the show. If I tap more, it's going to give me more information about the show. If I have a DVR, I can actually record it right from this device and I can watch on TV if it's currently live. So come back, we have the remote in the top right hand corner. Tap on that, I can do a notification panel, which will go ahead and tap done. We've configured all of our TV, we've got it. I can turn my TV on, and then I have my channels, my volumes, so I can turn that on or off. I have my dial pad here for the channel selections. I can mute my device. Tap on this little button here on the right hand side, we can drag that out. And this is going to be for my Comcast selector where I can record, change the channels, do my menus and guides, come back to my TV. Here's some current remote control for my TV. Slide this back out. Here's more of my universal remote control. I can swipe up and here's my channel guide. Swiping through, if I tap on it, it's going to put that channel directly onto my television. We'll come back out. We have a side menu here where we have live TV, favorites, and settings. We'll go ahead and come into the settings where we're going to set up on the personalize. So I can pick my favorite channels. This is going to help easily access them later on. We have liked programs. If I go into a program and like, it'll show up here. Genres, I can select all the genres I like and rearrange them based upon my preferences. I have sports. I can select the sports and then rearrange them as well. Come into my reminders, and these are where I'm going to see the reminders for TV shows that I'd like to watch. And then I have rooms. So that one TV I set up with the Comcast box, maybe that's my living room. Maybe I have a TV in a different room. So if I tap add room, I can give this room a name. So let's just say bedroom. Tap next, and I'm going to enter my zip code again. And now I can go ahead and go through the entire setup process again to move into a different room. So we'll go ahead and come back out. We have remote control, show remote control notification panel. So if I swipe down, we have remote control in the notification panel. I can turn that off, and I can always have a widget to quickly get to my remote control. Now, if I wanted to, I can reset the app to come back to the default settings and go through the setup process all over again. 
And from this menu out here, there's always the option in the top right hand corner to change my room, go to my settings and view about. So this is how you're going to use your Samsung Galaxy S6 as a remote control.